Welcome to EF Pod English, brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Intermediate 64. Exercising. Today we're going to talk about exercising. When we do this, we need to know which verbs are followed by gerunds and which verbs are followed by infinitives. We need to learn these verb patterns, so we can say things like I'm thinking of going jogging or I want to go jogging. But more on that later. It's time for the movie now. So what would you like to do for exercise? I was thinking of running. Do you like to run? I've never really been much of a jogger. It seems fun at first, when I start, very slow. But I never seem to stick with it very long. I guess jogging's boring for me. Boring, really? It helps me clear my head. I live to get out and see the trees, get some fresh air. How about walking? Do you like to walk? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. I like walking too. It takes a bit longer than jogging, but it's nice too. Yeah, for me, stretching and walking at a good pace are better than, say, running or doing aerobics or something. Ah, so you don't like a fast pace. Well, actually, it's not so much the pace as the impact. I like low-impact exercise. What do you mean, low-impact? Oh, I mean, exercising by running or jumping is high-impact. It puts a lot of stress on your bones and your joints, especially your knees. OK, well, we'll start stretching and walking. And then if we feel like picking up the pace, we can try that a bit later. Sounds like a plan. Can you remember what kind of exercise do Nick and Alexis decide to start with? OK, well, we'll start stretching and walking. And then if we feel like picking up the pace, we can try that a bit later. Nick says they'll start stretching and walking. Notice that the main verb, start, is followed by another verb with an ing ending. This verb pattern is called a gerund. Some verbs, like the verb start, will be followed only by a gerund, a second verb with an ing at the end. Here are some other examples of this verb pattern from the dialogue. I'm thinking of running. If we feel like picking up the pace, we can try running. When a verb follows these verbs, thinking of, feel like, the second verb, running, walking and picking up, will be with an ing at the end. That's a gerund. Now let's look at an example of a different verb pattern. Watch this clip from the movie. Nick is talking about jogging. Does he like jogging? Watch and see. Boring, really. It helps me clear my head. I live to get out and see the trees, get some fresh air. Nick says, I live to get out and see the trees. This means he likes jogging very much. It makes him feel alive. Notice that the verb live is followed by to and then another verb. This is called an infinitive. Here are some more examples of verbs often followed by the infinitive decide and want. I've decided to start a diet. He wants to exercise. I've decided to go on a diet. So I started exercising every day, but you know what? 
I feel like eating. Now you might be wondering about this word, like. Watch this next clip of the dialogue again and listen to what follows like. How about walking? Do you like to walk? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. I like walking too. It takes a bit longer than jogging, but it's nice too. Alexis asks, do you like to walk? And Nick replies, I like walking. The verb like can be followed by either a gerund or an infinitive. We can say, I like to run, or I like running. Now let's practice gerunds and infinitives. Look at the sentence. Which is the correct verb pattern? I was thinking of running. What about this one? That's it. If we feel like picking up the pace, we can try running. And which one is right here? Both are right. Here we can use the gerund or the infinitive. I like running. Or, I like to run. Here's another. I've decided to start a diet. I think I should start stretching and walking before I go jogging. Excellent work. In this lesson, you learned to talk about exercising and practiced several verbs that are followed by gerunds. For example, start, thinking of, and feel like. I feel like jogging today. We've also learned about verbs which are followed by the infinitive, like decide and want. What do you want to do? And then we've learned that there are verbs that can be followed by a gerund or an infinitive. For example, like. I like playing tennis. Or, I like to play tennis. Try and remember which verbs are followed by gerunds and which are followed by infinitives. Good luck! <laughs>